So now we get to the bottom half of the first page where we've got electric field diagrams. And we've got two different types of questions you're going to be answering here. Now just to zoom in a little bit here, on this top one you're being asked to say whether the charges are positive or negative. And basically in this space down here you can write something like A followed by either plus or minus, B followed by plus or minus, and then we have E and F. So you'll have A, B, E, and F, and after each one of those you'll put either a plus or minus. Now to help you out, I'm going to refer you back to the earlier videos, but a quick Google image search of electric field lines makes this really clear. So in case you were confused on the earlier videos, you can see really clearly from this image search that positive has arrows pointing away from it, negative has arrows pointing towards it. And not just on the single ones, if you look at any of these images, wherever it's positive, the arrows point away, and wherever it's negative, the arrows point towards that. So that's a really good indication for you to be able to figure out which ones are positive or negative. Now on the second one, we're not saying whether or not they're positive or negative that wants you to rank the charges from the weakest to the strongest. So between G, H, and I, which one is the smallest is the one that you would write first, as in the smallest amount of charge, followed by the middle one and then followed by the strongest charge. And again we can jump over here to take a look at the Google image search and we've got one here that if we take a look at it, it shows us that when we have greater number of arrows or a smaller number of arrows, that tells you something about the charge. So this object actually says that this one's got like three times as much charge as this one. <coughs> we can see that back on this image as well where you've got your plus one charges. There's not too many arrows involved. But where you've got either the plus three or the minus three, there's a lot more arrows that either start or stop on that particular charge. So you guys will come back over here to your worksheet, and you don't have to count them exactly. You should be able to figure out which one of those has the most or the least number of arrows pointing towards it or away from it.